Chapter 2. How Bitcoin Works. Transactions, Blocks, Mining, and the Blockchain. The Bitcoin system, unlike traditional banking and payment systems, is based on decentralized trust. Instead of a central trusted authority in Bitcoin, trust is achieved as an emergent property from the interactions of different participants in the Bitcoin system. In this chapter, we will examine Bitcoin from a high level by tracking a single transaction through the Bitcoin system and watch as it becomes trusted and accepted by the Bitcoin mechanism of distributed consensus and is finally recorded on the blockchain. Subsequent chapters will delve into the technology behind transactions, the network, and mining. Bitcoin Overview In the overview diagram shown below, we see that the Bitcoin system consists of users with wallets containing keys, transactions that are propagated across the network, and miners who produce the consensus blockchain, which is the authoritative ledger of all transactions. Each example in this chapter is based on an actual transaction made on the Bitcoin network, simulating the interactions between the users, Joe, Alice, Bob, and Gopesh, by sending funds from one wallet to another. While tracking a transaction through the Bitcoin network to the blockchain, we will use a Blockchain Explorer site to visualize each step. A Blockchain Explorer is a web application that operates as a Bitcoin search engine in that it allows you to search for addresses, transactions, and blocks and see the relationship that flow between them. Popular Blockchain Explorers include BlockCypher Explorer, Blockchain.com, BitPay Insight, Blockstream Explorer, each of these has a search function that can take a Bitcoin address, transaction hash, block number, or block hash and retrieve corresponding information from the Bitcoin network. With each transaction or block example, we will provide a URL so you can look it up yourself and study it in detail. Buying a cup of coffee. Alice, introduced in the previous chapter, is a new user who had just acquired her first Bitcoin. In that chapter, Alice met with her friend Joe to exchange some cash for Bitcoin. The transaction created by Joe funded Alice's wallet with 0.1 BTC. Now Alice will make her first retail transaction, buying a cup of coffee at Bob's Coffee Shop in Palo Alto, California. Bob's Cafe recently started accepting Bitcoin payments by adding a Bitcoin options to its point of sale system. The prices of Bob's Cafe are listed in the local currency, but at the register, customers have the option of paying in either dollars or Bitcoin. Alice places her order for a cup of coffee, and Bob enters it into the register, as he does for all transactions. The point-of-sale system automatically converts the total price from US dollars to Bitcoin at the prevailing market rate, and displays the price in both currencies. Total. 1.5 US dollar, 0 0.015 BTC. Bob says that's $1.50 or 15 millibits. Bob's point of sale system will also automatically create a special QR code containing a payment request. Unlike a QR code that simply contains a destination Bitcoin address, a payment request is a QR encoded URL that contains a destination address a payment amount, and a generic description, such as Bob's Cafe. This allows a Bitcoin wallet application to prefill the information used to send the payment while showing a human-readable description to the user. You can scan the QR code with a Bitcoin wallet application to see what Alice would see. Tip. Try to scan this with your wallet to see the address and amount, but do not send money. The payment request QR code encodes the following URL defined in BIP21. Components of the URL A Bitcoin address The payment amount 0 0.015 A label for the recipient address Bob's Cafe A description for the payment Purchase at Bob's Cafe Alice uses her smartphone to scan the barcode on display. Her smartphone shows a payment of 0.015 BTC to Bob's Cafe, and she selects Send to authorize the payment. Within a few seconds, Bob sees the transaction on the register, completing the transaction. In the following sections, we will examine this transaction in more detail. 
we'll see how Alice's wallet constructed it, how it was propagated across the network, how it was verified, and finally, how Bob can spend an amount in subsequent transactions. Note, the Bitcoin network can transact in fractional values from milli Bitcoin down to one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, which is known as a Satoshi. Throughout this book, we will use the term Bitcoin to refer to any quantity of Bitcoin currency, from the smallest unit to the total number of all Bitcoin that will ever be mined.